Okay, everybody, this is Wing Rider. I'm doing a short video. Uh, the purpose is uh, someone watched one of my YouTube videos, a guy that goes by Wingnut. He uh, bought a Lumina XL trailer, just like the one I purchased here. I bought mine from the USA Trailer Store, and the issue is the tongue is really long on these things. And what I did, I shortened mine 15 inches, and I'll show you here. There's a cooler rack right here that has two bolts in it, as you can see, that go through the tongue. And the tongue sticks out normally another 15 inches way out here because there's room for another rack somewhere else. But here's what I did. You don't have to, you don't have to cut the tongue. Instead, there are two bolts under here. There's one here and one there that bolt the tongue to the frame underneath and what you do is normally the second hole is going to be way back here in the tongue but what I did was the the second hole on the back of the tongue is you know here where the first hole goes I actually slid the tongue back and only this part that's open is way up is way up in here but I slid the first hole back to the second hole and I put the bolt through it and then up on the front here I drilled a second hole through the tongue and bolted that so I only had to drill one hole to mount this tongue and you can see the difference between this part and up here I measured it I shortened it 15 inches I just pushed the wiring back up into the tongue here as far as the cooler rack um, I slid it back and or forward I mean you see a hole right here this is normally the hole for the front bolt on the cooler rack right right here but what I did is since I slid the tongue back I put the cooler rack much further forward I just spaced it right here about a quarter of an inch away from the trailer and I put it over the tongue I drilled two new holes and mounted my cooler rack and that's as simple as it gets you don't really have to do anything else to shorten the tongue on this thing and uh, put it down here but I did that because when I first put it together and I put the trailer behind my gold wing this thing stuck way back there and I didn't like that so I shortened that tongue on it without like say just like I showed you without having to cut anything all I did was drill three extra holes in the tongue slid it back bolted it together and there you go and it pulls great there's not a problem with it it actually better I think because it's easier to park the dead gum thing it was as long as a long bed pickup truck before but taking 15 inches off that tongue made a big difference also I ordered a spare tire because it doesn't come with that and I put that in there and I got a tool kit I got an extra one inch bearing kit for the wheel bearings with grease and tools to change it so if I have a flat or a wheel bearing problem on the side of the road I'll be able to fix it myself also I mounted a fire extinguisher on the inside corner of my trailer here and you can see where the bolts the bolts stick through to the back of the trailer right here but I mounted that fire extinguisher right in the back of the trailer right there. It makes sense to have a fire extinguisher. As far as the cooler, I just bought a marine grade cooler from Academy Sports that fits right on this rack. And then I just bungeed it down. Now this, this trailer also has a swivel hitch. I highly recommend a swivel hitch when you buy this uh, Lumina XL trailer. The Lumina XL comes with a free swivel hitch. The Lumina does not. And then I also put a lock on it right here so I can, I can lock it and a little more secure that way. Anyway, I just wanted to do that video for Wingnut and anyone else who has a Lumina XL. And if it helps you, I appreciate it. Let me know if it did in the comments. And this is Wingrider.
until next time